G'day, I'm Brett Charles. Welcome to the CAM TV. CAM standing for Cairns Area Musicians. So, why make a show on Cairns Area Musicians and show it to the world? Because basically, I think it's a story that needs to be told. This is an amazing part of the world. It's tropical, there's World Heritage Rainforest, the Great Barrier Reef, terrific beaches, the outback, and frontier country right on our doorstep. Now, all of this is true, but it also has much more than its fair share of talented, creative people. Many of these people are musicians, and they deserve to be showcased. If you're planning a trip to the Cairns area in tropical North Queensland, Australia, don't miss out on the music, or you'll only be having half the fun. So right now, I'm gonna kick off the show with a clip that shows some of the beauty of the region, and it's by talented young singer-songwriter, Rayleigh Russell. Filmed by an outstanding young director by the name of Kyle Wilson, this is Life is Different. Welcome back to CAM TV on this our very first episode. On the couch today, I've got some very special guests from the Hot Swing Set. I've got Zelda and David. Welcome along. How are you doing? Tell me about the Hot Swing Set. It looks like, well, a lot of fun for a start. Yep, lots of fun. Lots of uh, swing and blues, jazz, a bit of uh, chaos sometimes. And um, yeah, fun. Lots yeah. of fun. But very fun chaos. Orchestrated chaos. Yeah. yeah, yeah, orchestrated chaos. Bit of gypsy thrown in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, a lot of uh, it's vintage material, most of it. So it's material that was written back in the twenties and thirties. Yeah, I was going to say you've got a bit of that um, roaring twenties look about you when you perform. Yeah, well, it's not just music; it's a whole show. It's a cabaret show. So I perform as two different characters. Mm -hmm. So my female character is called May Believe, and she's modelled on uh, May West. Um, and my male character is called Slinky Sill, 
okay. after Blinky Bill. I didn't know about your, um, your cross-dressing side of it. The original conception was that the whole band would cross-dress. Okay. So we would all do one set as women and then all do one set as men. But um, David's beard got in the way. That's well, they, <laughs> both of the Daves have beards and Jen is also much more comfortable uh, in, in her man gear than, than in a girly frock. So, But I, I'm working on them, Brett. Okay. I'm working on them. It's a slow road, isn't it? We'll, we'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, look, we might have a look at um, one of the clips from the hot swing set. Do you want to introduce this one, Zola? I would. Um, so this is the first song that I've written for the band. So we've written it in a um, in the same style that we work in. So it's 20s and 30s sort of jazz and blues feel. Um, and I was really inspired by the story of, of Gina Reinhardt. She's the richest woman in the world, um, on her way to becoming the richest person in the world. Um, she is an activist as well as a, a CEO. She's um, sponsors a lot of politicians and um, takes them aboard her private jet and so on. She also sponsors Lord Christopher Monckton, the climate change sceptic scientist, to come and travel to Australia and turns out he's not actually a lord and he's not actually a scientist either, but be that as it may, Gina sponsors him to come out and tell us all how we don't need to worry about climate change. So um, yeah, I, I thought she deserved a song, so this is called The Ballad of Gina Reinhardt. Everybody should know my name I'm a mining tycoon at the top of my game The world's my oyster and I've got the pearl I'm the richest woman in the whole damn world I make six hundred dollars a second Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock I make six hundred dollars a second I'm the richest frog on the rock Iron ore Uranium, petroleum, diamonds and gold I was my daddy's only heir And now I'm a multi-billionaire I make six hundred dollars a second Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock I make six hundred dollars a second billion dollars and something to say the people round here are getting too well paid when they're down underground making my hay they should be working for two dollars a day i make six hundred dollars a second tick tock tick tock tick tock I make six hundred dollars a second I'm the richest frog on the rock Thank you. 
don't give a rats Cause me and my friends are the fattest of cats And I'll lead the protest in my big hard hats Cause we won't be paying no resources tax I make six hundred dollars a second Tick-tock, tick-tock, tick-tock I make a second I'm the richest for rock on the rock I make six hundred dollars a second tick tock tick tock tick tock I make six hundred dollars a second Welcome back to Cam TV. That was the ballad of Gina Reinhardt by the Hot Swing Set. And the Hot Swing Set, are, well, two of them are still with me on the couch. Uh, we've got Zelda and David. And um, you want to tell us a little bit more about um, the songwriting? I've, I've been writing the songs so far. Um, I mean, when you're playing with five, four or five musicians, it's always a collaborative process. So I bring yep. the song. Um, Dave here usually tweaks it a bit. And um, the next track I think you're going to play is called Eat the Rich. We decided there was a solution to world hunger, after all. Um, mm. And Dave put a sort of almost scar section in that song. Yeah, I, um, yeah we, we broke it up into two sections. It has its, the AA section, which is sort of quite classic swing blues, but the, the middle eight or the bridge sort of put a, a punk edge to it and got the uh, rhythm section to play in double time to make the solo have a little bit more edge to it as well. So there's a, mm. and a bit more frantic energy there for those who want to get up and slam dance to the uh, And it does, it the makes track. the dancers go wild. Yeah? yeah? Yeah, they'll be swinging away and all of a sudden they're, they're almost moshing. They're right? pogoing. Beautiful, yeah. yeah. Beautiful, love to, love to bring back a little bit of punk. That's right. Yeah. It's been missing for too long, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah, sort of. we need it. Well, let's spread a little bit more hot swing set. This is Eat the Rich.
watch all night can't kill the itch we are the 99.9 percent and we can eat the rich we can eat the to the first Blues and Rock segment as part of the Cairns Area Musicians monthly free podcast. My name is Irene Barrett aka Irene B on Cairns FM 89.1 where I present my weekly driving home with the blues every Friday between 4 and 6 p.m. and jukebox predominantly rock on Tuesdays between 9 and midday. I've only been back in Cairns a couple of years and have been discovering and been astounded by the number of talented musicians in the Cairns area. On the blues scene, we have our own blues legend Jono, who is still performing on a regular basis, sometimes solo or with Jono's blues band for special events. You can catch Jono busking on the Esplanade most evenings. <laughs> One of the first blues bands I discovered on my return to Cairns was Moondog's Gypsy Blues Band, who were my studio guests several times and performed at the first, second and third annual Cairns Blues Festivals, along with the Montgomery Brothers. Take a look at this clip from their latest offering, Dirty Girls CD, created with the help of an RADF grant. I want you, baby, that's true. I want you for the things that you do I want to get you in my head And I want you to touch me there Say that you want me to Well come on, look me black and blue
Moondog's Gypsy Blues Band are currently on tour and working around northern New South Wales and have recently played with 8 Ball Aitken and at Bird's Grassroots Festival. My next blues discovery was the amazing Gigi Davies. I spotted him at my first Cairns Folk and Roots Night at the Art House. Gigi was just getting back into the music scene again after a bit of a break. He hasn't looked back since, and his latest 12-track CD, Prayer of a Broken Man, is a sure winner. I look forward to seeing more of Gigi at upcoming gigs. Both Moondog's Gypsy Blues Band and Gigi Davies are getting airplay on blues shows all around the world. Recent CD releases worth looking out for are from Eddie Skiba, Bullet to Bloom, and I included this as a feature album on Jutebox just this week. Another CD slash DVD release is from the Montgomery Brothers, who are currently on tour with Joe Robinson, but I'll have much more on that next month. Keep your finger on the pulse and be sure to watch this space for future blues and rock news. Keep an eye out for awesome pub rock covers bands like Mojo and Big Wheel through Entertainment Can's Gig Guide and keep on rocking the blues. This song's about being flat broke. I'm never flat broke. I'm rich, baby. If you're wondering, oh, what I want to tell you. If you're wondering, oh, all along. If you're wondering, oh, what I want to tell you. Well, you've been here before and you know it. Well, you flat broke, need to smoke half dead. Your name was Fred Lemonese, singing cool. My bell back at school, working hard for the bloke. I feel like you, my choke is clean. What you seen, I can't imagine. Is it you? Is it you? Is it you? Oh, is it you? Yeah. If you're one. That's a job, a little man Push and shove, always need a lot of love You're growing veggies on your block You need a lot of love You're pink and green, keep them keen I leave them fresh and clean Fresh and clean Fresh and clean Red, go to bed, you're up late with your maid Drinking hard, play that car, lose your money It's not funny, honey You're flat broke Ooh. Need a smoke, that too dear No good for you, baby, I said you're flat Take it away, Mr. Damien Hill, yeah
the lovely Corinda Christie down from the mountains with her nine piece band recorded live at the tanks during her CD release last year. You know from humble beginnings the tanks has really grown into a great performance venue. Terrific sound, great stage, hats off to all the professionals involved with that one. Live music obviously doesn't work without great venues. So each episode of the CAM TV I'd like to focus on one particular venue from the Cairns area and see what their aims and ambitions are. So for the first one, I thought I'd call on a bloke who's seen it from both sides. He's been a musician for years, and now he's opened a restaurant. So we're down here at Voodoo's Cajun Kitchen with uh, Jason Smith. G'day, Jace. How you going, Brett? Very good. Um, Jason, you've been a muso forever and now you're trying your hand at the um, restaurant trade and running a venue. What's it like? It's hard, but I'm really loving it. Um, I think it's um, a good thing to uh, do in, uh, in your life, give it a go. Um, and I think that uh, it's going to be great in Cairns for something different, because I'm, I'm out there to do something different. So just tell us about the, uh, the restaurant itself, the concept. Okay, well, the concept come from New Orleans, as we know. Um, it's Voodoo's Cajun Kitchen. It's all about New Orleans. I had the idea when I was, when I was younger, went over there and uh, a couple of times thought, this is what I'm going to do as I get older. I'm going to do a restaurant. This is what it is. Doing many other things, well, this, this is what I'm doing now. And uh, it's all about tradition. The food over there is traditional, the food over here. You're still going to get your gumbos, your jambalayas, your cornbreads, you know, even even down to uh, your drinks, your cocktails. You're going to get your cocktails as well, your hurricanes and all those mint juleps, all the real traditional stuff. And that's where I try and bring it back to the bands, even to the bands. You know, you're going to get your original music, but you're also going to get your traditional, you know, stuff with, say, Wayne McIntosh comes and plays, loves to play that, that backbeat sort of uh, New Orleans feel as well. And... You're going to get that blues and jazz and everything here as well. Music-wise, um, I believe you've got something on virtually every night of the week, which is, which I guess must be hard for a venue that's this size. Um, what what have you got happening, and what are some of the challenges? Okay, so. I'm trying to push out six nights a week, um, have a day off on Tuesday, just so I can catch up on everything else. Um, the challenges, well, let's say the challenges are is uh, to put good, to put the right thing on on the right night. Thursday night we've got Fig Jam now. Fig Jam was one of the great things in Cairns. It was started at Rangeries. Now it's here. I've got Dave Dow co-hosting that. I've got um, Wayne McIntosh pushing on the Friday nights. We do a really good New Orleans blues thing here on a Friday night. Swing Alley Cat Saturday night. And a mixed bags on the other nights being a Monday, Wednesday and Sunday. Well, mate, thanks for letting us see from a, um, a venue owner's perspective. And good luck with Voodoo's. Come down and get some great service and food, Brody, and music. Thanks, Brett. Cheers. Hi, Alita here from Cairns Folk and Roots Original Music Events with your Folk and Roots Scene Wrap Up. First up, festivals. Stunning weather ensured a great turnout for the Mission Evolve Music Fest held at Mission Beach recently. Now in its fourth year, Mission Evolve encompasses everything from live music, DJs, workshops and sculpture to percussions, circus spaces and market stalls in a family-friendly atmosphere. Southern headliners such as Claude Hay, Chase the Sun and Jeff Lang mixed it up with a multitude of local artists including Jordan Brody, Eddie Skiba and Secret Tuesdays. 
The festival is set on the picturesque grounds of an ex-crocodile theme park, where thankfully the crocs are long gone, but the beautiful music and happy vibes echo through the forest for days afterwards. From a newer festival to one of the longest running, the 32nd annual Tablelands Folk Festival took place over the weekend of the 26th to the 28th of October in the village of Yungaburra. Three stages and a big lineup of acts kept the music going non-stop throughout the weekend. While there were a few interstate draw cards like the April Mays and Lillian King, this year's festival focused on far north Queensland talent. The large crowd in attendance and their enthusiasm, along with the diversity of performers, only emphasised the fact that FNQ is a hotbed of talented musicians and songwriters of all genres. After a string of festival and support appearances this year, Lani Brower released her debut EP, Parlour Tricks. Two weeks later, she awoke on her birthday to find she had won the Australia-wide digital heat of the Telstra Road to Discovery competition for her song, Little Brother. Percussion, guitar and ukulele virtuosos, the Montgomery Brothers, released their debut CD and DVD this month. Highly entertaining with exceptional music skills, Damien Jones and Rio Montgomery have become firm favourites of the local live music circuit, playing as an acoustic duo and also as a rhythm section of Jono's blues band with the legendary Jono and Rick Montgomery. Here's a look at why everyone is talking about the Montgomery Brothers. That's the latest news from the far north folk and roots scene. Join me next time for more updates and great music from the Cairns area. And that's it folks for the first episode of the CAM TV. Please feel free to send the link far and wide around the world to as many of your friends as possible. Spread the word. I'd also like to encourage any filmmakers out there to team up with a Cairns area muso or band and make a great clip. Then we can showcase your talent around the world too. Anyway. I'm going to finish off with a song from an old friend. One half of the very successful Women in Docks. This is one of her side projects. Ros Papalato and the Wayward Gentleman. I say four. Good night, world.
afraid Still you're afraid He's gone to stay This we can't face This we can't face 